In this video, I will be demonstrating the new CoolSim for AutoCAD tool. The tool is an AutoCAD plugin which enables a quick and efficient export of room geometry out of AutoCAD and into CoolSim. The tool allows the user to define the room, racks, cracks, blocks, PDUs, as well as their corresponding heat loads or cooling capacity. As you can see, I have a DWG file representing a small straightforward data center. One important detail to note is that my origin sits in the lower left hand corner of my jarring. This is necessary in order for the plugin to work properly, and if your origin is somewhere else, it can easily be moved by right clicking and dragging to a new location. The CoolSim for AutoCAD tool can be found under the Add-ins tab at the top of the screen. By double clicking on the icon, a docked sidebar will appear. The first step is to define the size of your room. Input the room height as well as the supply and return plenum height if applicable. While defining the room, it is necessary to use the diagonal opposite option. Proceed with assigning the diagonal corners of your room. If at any point you make a mistake, use the escape key to leave the selection process and start again. Once your room size is selected, the show slash hide room button can be used to make the drawing more visible to the user. Next, select the rack icon to proceed with identifying racks in the room. Again, enter the height as well as the heat load and flow direction. Unlike before, internal selection is an option when identifying racks in your drawing. By clicking the inside of a rack, the rack size is determined based on the perimeter dimensions and an arrow represents flow direction. If at any point a mistake is made, the identified racks can be modified using the Edit Racks feature. Right click to erase an unwanted rack. When using this plugin, it may be more convenient at times to define racks or other objects using the diagonal opposites feature. This is largely dependent on how the drawing was made and is up to the user to decide which is easier. Here I'm going to only define the first rack in the rack row. Based on the drawing file, it may be easier to just define the first rack in a rack row and then add the remaining racks within CoolSim using the rack editor. By capturing the first rack, we still export the size and starting position of the rack row. I continue to define racks using the internal selection method. As you can see here, I actually incorrectly define a flow direction. 
However, this mistake can quickly be fixed in CoolSim. Now I am ready to define the cracks in the room. Again, define the crack height as well as type and cooling capacity. Now I move on to defining PDUs. Next, I define blocks in the room. Defining blocks will be especially useful if your data center room is not a rectangle. Once you are satisfied with the geometry highlighted, select export and save the file wherever you prefer. From here, you are ready to open CoolSim and import the file. Within CoolSim, navigate to File and then Import from AutoCAD. Now you can make the necessary adjustments to finish making the model. Thanks and I hope this tutorial is helpful.